Welcome to Tech Wizard with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Key Vault in Azure Data Factory. So, why do people use the Key Vault? Key Vault is uh, used to store uh, your uh, different uh, connection strings, passwords, and all that securely on the Azure side. So, if you want to read more about it, go ahead and uh, you know Google it and read all more details. But in this case, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to use the Key Vault to store our connection string and uh, uh, for our uh, blob storage and for our SQL Server, and then use that in Azure Data Factory. So, we do not have to save our our uh, connection string, username, password, and anything in our uh, Azure Data Factory. So instead of doing that, we will be using Key Vault. Uh, now, what we will learn, um, these are all the items you are going to learn. And I am using um, the timeline, the YouTube. So if you already know how to do this all things, you know, you can just ignore it and go to right here and uh, that will start the video from there. So let's go ahead and create our uh, first uh, Azure Data Factory. I'm in uh, Azure portal right here and I'm going to create Data Factory. So this is uh, going to be create. It's going to be quick and fast. So create data factory. And we will provide uh, our subscription and then a resource group. East to US is just fine for me. And I'm going to call this one tech versus ADF. So you guys often see that uh, I drop this data factory and recreate it because I don't want to pay the money for that. So I'm going to go ahead and create the Azure data factory. So our Azure data factory is the tech versus dash ADF. Now we are going to go to the second part. We are going to create blob storage where we would like to uh, create the file. Okay, so we will read from uh, our Azure SQL DB and then finally write to the blob storage. That's what we are going to do. Now let's go back here and uh, we create the blob storage. Hit create here for data factory and it is creating right now. So we go home again and we are going to go to the storage account. If you don't see this tab here, no worries. You can always type storage and it will bring you storage account. So once you go right there, you're going to go hit create and then we will be creating a storage. Select your subscription, select your resource group, and then uh, you will be selecting a storage. In my case, tech browser storage is just fine. East to US is the region and I'm not making any other changes. So hit OK and uh, create. Now two parts are done. We are going to go to the third one. We are going to create Azure SQL DB. Okay. In this case, uh, I will be using uh, the username TB user and uh, the password will be, uh, I'm going to test one, two, three. Okay. Simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our Azure database. Now open and here go new and we will say Azure SQL databases. Okay. SQL database is right there. Click create now what we are going to do here we are going to select the subscription and then a resource group and here you will be providing the database name tbit is just fine for me i don't uh, and if i want to add more to it i will say tbit db okay now in the server what we need to do we have to create a new because we don't have any so i'm going to call it tech brothers server okay so this is available as it as well so you can see server name should contain Let's see, it is available. East US is just fine. Provide the username. And our password is going to be test123 and test123. Okay. Okay, this in uh, test123 uh, dollar dollar sign at the end. Okay. That will make it uh, happen eight characters. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to go ahead and just write it here so you would know that we don't make a mistake here. And uh, we should go back here and uh, now we are going to create our server and here. Then, uh, so TBIT database is uh, and this is a server and uh, it is asking you configuration. So I don't want to be creating with the very expensive. I'm going to go with very basic, you know, uh, so that will be fine. I will be paying four dollars something per month. That's apply and uh, we should be all good. We don't have to do any other changes. So hit create. Now we are going to go ahead and create. Next part, what we can do, we can uh, create Azure Key Vault. Okay, so I'm going to name this one a TB Key Vault. So our Key Vault name is going to be TB Key Vault. Okay, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Go back to the portal and uh, now we search for Key Vault. Okay, so Key Vault right there and then uh, we are going to create a Key Vault. So create the Key Vault and uh, Azure subscription, provide the resource group. And now what we are going to do, Key Vault name, in my case, uh, already TB Key Vault. And East US is just fine. We don't have to do anything else. So I'm going to just create this key vault. Things are moving really fast today. So that's good. Now what we are going to do next, uh, we are going to 
create the secrets in the key vault okay so let's uh, do that so as you know that uh, we need to save two things one uh, in the secrets what we would like to save we would like to save the connection string of, of blob storage and second sql connection string okay so these are the two things we need to save in that and later we will use it so let's go to the key vault again and now key vault is ready so now how we will create uh, how we will save uh, the connection string right so we need to go to secrets and here we will create the, the secret but first of all we need to get the connection string right so i'm going to go to the portal again and here i'm going to go to my resource group under the resource group remember we have created this uh, blob storage so we have the connection string for blob storage so click on the blob storage and go to the access keys and here you're gonna click on show keys and then you're gonna see connection string right here okay you see right there so we are gonna copy this copy and then uh, we are going to back to the our uh, let me open a new portal here okay so we don't have to go back and forth so here i will go to the key vault and in my key vault and uh, remember we need to create a secret so go to secrets and here we will be creating our uh, new secret so i'm going to call it uh, manually and i'm going to call it tb storage okay okay and then we will provide the value so you see that uh, you can name anything you can say my storage okay so nobody would know that uh, where exactly you are pointing or where the connection string you are using so it's a saver so this is the we will be using this part in the azure data factory once we use this part the key vault will get us uh, this connection string value from here right this guy okay so we create that second part what we are going to do we are going to uh, use our connection string for our sql so i'm going to go back to home and go to my resource group and here i will be going to my sql server see tech Resource sql server and here you're going to click on this uh, see this is a tb user and uh, then uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, server so uh, what you're going to do you as you need to connect to a specific database uh, so we will be going to the database first uh, so go to sql database and then uh, tbit right there once i click there then i'm going to go to the connection string uh, because in the linked services we have to tell like which server and which database so i need to go to the database level and get the connection string so i need to go to this connection string and here i need to copy so i can copy this as it is and if you guys see there there is a password so i have to provide the password so i'm going to copy right there and go back to our notepad and just paste it there and then i'm going to provide the password and if you guys remember that let's see where is the password right there okay so i'm going to provide the password here it was a test one two three four not four dollar sign okay so we are all good here i'm going to make it a little small so we can copy right there so copy this uh, connection string till here okay so we copy and now uh, i can make it large for you so you can read now go back and uh, go to the key vault and in the key vault we are going to go to secrets again and uh, generate import here i'm going to call uh, leave it manual and i'm going to call sql connection okay now we will paste the value right there and then we are going to hit create now our secrets are created here there are two secrets one for the our blob storage another one is for our sql connection now what i would like to do in the sql server i would like to create our table and then uh, store some data so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the sql server right here and uh, then uh, i can go to the sql databases here and in the web database click right there and now you have uh, some something like quick start right there okay so and query editor view so we can go to the query editor and uh, here i can uh, test one two three four dollar sign so i can connect uh, to the this uh, yes uh, whitelist this um, ip that's fine because uh, i would like to connect to this uh, server and hit okay now we are fine here and uh, we are going to tables we don't have any table in this uh, database so, so you see right there this is the database we are connected we don't have any data so create table db.customer and id integer name workshop okay so i'm not putting uh, tons of values here Okay, just create this table and once the table is created now what we are going to do insert into db.customer 
values one comma omit okay that's all we need to do so we don't have to do hundreds of value and then I'm going to select star from db.customer so this is saved into our SQL database so Azure SQL database and we need to read this and write to a blob story that's what we are going to do okay now our key vault is ready there are a few things we can do now uh, we can start towards the Azure Data Factory and come back later and provide the, the policy, uh, create the policies and all that because we need to provide the permission uh, to the Key Vault uh, uh, for Azure Data Factory. That's one thing we need to do. So uh, let me go back actually towards the uh, Azure Data Factory and uh, we go from there, okay? So I'm gonna open Azure Data Factory here and uh, let me see right there. So we can go to the portal right there. So go to the Azure Data Factory, click it there on the resource and find our Azure Data Factory right there. And uh, now we are going to open our Azure Data Factory. Our goal is uh, to read the data from our SQL database and write to the blob storage. But uh, we are not going to save any information in linked service uh, that's like username, password, or even connection string. Of, okay, so we are going to use the key vault as we have saved the values already in the secrets. So, okay. So that's our Azure Data Factory is ready. Go to author and here we are going to go to the pipeline, new pipeline. And I'm going to say, let's create a copy. Okay, so our goal is to read the data. So we are going to go to source and then we're going to the new and I will say Azure SQL DB. Okay, so once I do that, it's going to ask me, hey, where is your, uh, you need to create the link service. And I'm going to say, yes, go ahead and create a new link service. And it's going to ask me your subscription. It's going to ask me your server. And it's going to ask me your database. So you see here, I have the TBIT database here, but I would not, I don't want to use it. If I use this way, I have to provide a username here, TB user, and a password, right? So if I do that, uh, it's, uh, we test this connection, it might fail. But I want to show you. It failed because, uh, first of all, it's saying, hey, Azure Data Factory does not have a permission to access this database. So let me fix that for you. So I go back to the Azure Data Factory here, sorry, SQL Server, and uh, I go to the firewall and networks. And then I go and say, allow Azure services and resources to access this uh, database. So, so that will solve the problem. Okay. Now, if I go back and test the connection, it's going to be successful. So it is successful, but you see that I'm saving everything in the Azure Data Factory linked service. So I'm providing username, password, and everything. And if I create right here, and uh, what's going to happen? You're going to go to the linked service. I'm going to cancel this out uh, right there. If I go to the linked services here that is created, I can go and see right there. So uh, there's tons of information like hey, my username, which username, and all that I'm using. See right there. So it is the same in that information. And I don't want that, okay? I want to use the key vault. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because I don't need it here. So I can go back to my author again and here in the copy activity, when I'm gonna go to the source, I'm gonna click a new and I'm going to say Azure SQL DB. Now I'm gonna hit next. And it's going to ask me, hey, you create a new link service? Yes, I do. But uh, uh, what do you wanna do? Connection string or Azure key vault? In last scenarios I showed you, if you use connection string, you have to provide username, password, and everything. But in uh, we are going to use Azure Key Vault because we have saved the connection string for this database. Um, so once I click on Azure Key Vault, it's going to ask you, what is your secret name? And I'm going to say, uh, I don't uh, have actually, because it is asking me, hey, create the link service to connect your uh, Key Vault. So I'm going to go ahead and create a link service so I can connect to my Azure Key Vault. So I'm going to go ahead and create a link service here, subscription, and then key vault. So TB key vault, okay? So that's fine. I'm going to call this one uh, LNK key vault, okay? So that's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and create it. It got created. Now I should be able to get the secret names. And if I click right there, remember it's load failed. Why? Because remember I was telling you I have to provide uh, the permission uh, here, the key vault is there, the secrets are there, but our Azure Data Factory do not have permission to see these. 
So we are going to go to the key vault our, here, our key vault, and then uh, in the key vault, we go to the access policies. In the access policies, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add access policy. Once I do that, uh, key permissions such as get list, you know, I want to do that uh, secret uh, get and list. That's what I'm going to give it. Uh, then I will say on the certificates, if I have it, get and list, uh, you know, and then uh, uh, it is asking you, hey, what is your principle? You know, in my case, uh, I don't uh, have it, right? So I'm going to go non selected, and then it's going to ask me, you want to su search for it? I'm going to say, yes, why not? So I will say, Tech Brothers IT ADF. If you guys remember, that's my Azure Data Factory. So see, Tech Brothers, uh, Tech Brothers ADF. Okay, it showed up right there. So once I put my ADF name here, it showed up and then I have to do select. Once I select that, you can see right there, it added. Now I'm all good and I can go ahead and add. Once I add that, it is showing me this information right there and it's showing me secret permission, certificate permission, key permission and all that. So I am good here. Now I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna go back to my Azure Data Factory and I'm hoping at this time my Azure Data Factory will be able to access the secret values. Now, if I go back here, it will say like a uh, load in. I wish it will be a refresh button here. So I'm gonna go right here, say select, and uh, then I'm gonna go back here, select my key vault again, and then go back and uh, drop. So now it got me both of the things. As I'm creating the link service for Azure SQL database, I will be select SQL connection. And what is SQL, SQL connection? That's our secret name. If you guys remember that, if we go to secrets here in the key vault, you see, SQL connection and that is holding our uh, connection string. So if I click right there and uh, see right there, uh, if I wanna see uh, this show secret value, that's our connection string. See right there? So you can see that if you want to hide secret. Okay, so we are good here. We know that and uh, now if I go and uh, test connection, it should be successful. So it is all good. So we are connected to our SQL uh, by using Azure Key Vault. So we have saved the value. So you see, I did not provide username, password, or anything like here. So we are very secure. So we are not providing any username, passwords, or anything in Azure Data Factory. Actually, we use the Key Vault. Okay, so now we should be able to get our table, and there is only one table called DBO Customer, and uh, hit OK. So that table has two columns. If you guys remember, we can preview the data. It is it has ID and name, one record. Okay, that's fine. Now we need to go to the sync. So in the sync, if you guys remember that, I have created the blob storage. And in the blob storage, we have also saved the connection string to the key vault. Now, this is our blob storage. So if I go to blob storage, it does not have any container as of now. And that's fine. We can create a container now. I'm going to call this container input container or output or whatever. So in my case, it's input. So I'm going to go back to Azure Data Factory here and then go to the my sync and create a linked service. So linked service is going to be for Azure Blob Storage and I'm gonna hit and continue. And the CSV file is fine. Now, if you guys remember, I'll, I have to create a link service, right? So it's going to be new, right? So, okay, in the link service, we have to provide from, uh, you wanna do connection string like uh, such as uh, your subscription, your account and all that. So this is, see, it is totally visible. Okay, whatever the uh, storage name and everything is coming through. So we don't want to do that. We want to be secure, right? So that's why we create a Azure Key Vault. We are going to click on Key Vault. And here I'm going to select my linked service that I created for uh, Key Vault. And then I will be able to select the secret name. So in this case, it's going to be my storage. Okay, so now nobody would know that what is my storage, right? Because the value is actually saved in the Key Vault. So if you go to the uh, see, uh, secrets here in the key vault, go to my storage, that's where the value is saved. And if I wanna see the value, I can see by myself. See right there, it's called Tech Brothers Storage, that's where it is. Okay, so let's hide it again. <laughs> I guess uh, we are using the key vault values here. So this is a pretty cool test connection, everything's secure. And now we created this uh, link service. Uh, and now we can click on browse and it's going to show us all the containers available. In this case, we have only one container and that's input. I'm going to hit OK and hit OK. Now you can go to the open here and what you're going to do, we can provide the name. So in my case, I'm going to say 
customer file dot txt or csv so your choice not a big deal so you have tons of other option comma delimited pipe delimited and all that so we are fine so we can go ahead and test and uh, once i debug what's going to happen is going to read uh, the link service is going to read all the information such as the sql connection blob connection from the azure key vault and then uh, once it has it it's going to read the data from sql table and write to the blob storage our pipeline has been completed successfully and you can uh, take a look we can go right here actually go to details here okay so it tells us hey one record is read and uh, this looks good you're not going to see whole lot information like how key vault is used here or not and all that that's happened on the link services so that is available in the linked services so see right there till somebody don't open it they will not be seeing it so if you click right there so one linked service that's pointing to your key vault and then once you have that the other linked services can use the secrets of uh, which are saved in the key vault so if i click right there on the definition what happened now you see it is just showing me this uh, the name uh, reference link that's a reference for the uh, uh, link service a key vault link service and uh, not a whole lot you know information is coming through so uh, that's where it is pretty safe you know so you know no username and password is saved uh, in the azure data factory it's coming from the key vault at the time of the runtime Okay, so that's great. Now what we do here, let me go back to your uh, destination. That's where the file should be written. And uh, we open this file, the file is created, and we should see one record. So see, it has a uh, one Amir. I did not write the, what you call the header. So I can go back and fix it if it want, but it's okay. But uh, you got the idea, right? So if I go back here, go to sync, first row has header somewhere, you know, uh, let me find out if I can find it quickly. So it should be here. See, first row has header. I can click right there, read on my pipeline, and that should do it. So let's go back and uh, just uh, take a look what we have. So we created the data factory pretty quick. We created the blob storage. So you don't have to have created containers first, you know. Containers can be created any time after that, you know, once you needed it. And uh, because in the key vault, actually the connection string from the blob storage will be saved and not for the container. And then you are going to create a, your SQL DB. The connection uh, will be using username, password. So that connection string uh, will be saved in the key vault as well. In the, so two secrets will be created and those secrets will be used in the Azure Data Factory. So you have to provide the permission to your Azure Data Factory on the key vault to use the values of secrets. Okay, so let's go back one more time and take a look. A pipeline has been completed successfully. We go back, uh, refresh, click on the file. And now we are going to hit edit and see ID and name. So this is coming correct now. So I hope uh, you learned something out of this. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.